Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a preview of a game called Kine. Kine was developed and published by Chump Squad. It was originally released on to the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch, as well as the Epic Game Store on October 17, 2019. It will be releasing on to Steam on October 19, 2020, and the MSRP is $19.99 across all platforms. So why don't we get into it? Kine is a very interesting and very challenging puzzle game. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. The music is very dope, but you play as musical instruments trying to join together to form a band. The controls are very simple. Use WASD or directional keys to move around. You can use Q and E to rotate the camera. Right, here's a drum set. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this game is very cute. So, if you press spacebar, if you click on the dude, he will rotate between two statuses, as you can see here as symbols. So it kind of involves uh, rotating yourself or kind of taking advantage of the, the map's layout to figure out how to navigate through this place. Sometimes it's not obvious. And then you can switch between two people. I played this already, but I can still I still forget <laughs> what I'm supposed to do at times. Okay, I just want to add in here uh, that I play a lot of puzzle games. One of my top favorites is Filament. Wait to pause the music real quick. Okay, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit. Uh, Filament is a great puzzle game. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, a lot of puzzle games, you can work backwards, as in you can see the solution. There's only one way to get that solution, and you work backwards from that. Like escape rooms use that logic. A lot of puzzle games use that logic, so they're not really hard. They really aren't, unless they make it completely random or RNG based, in which case, you know, that's not based on logic. But this game does a really good job of obfuscating the solutions, so you can't really tell what the final step is, there are multiple possible ways to get there, and you won't really know until you play the game. Not every puzzle like that, most of them are pretty straightforward, but there are a few that are pretty challenging, and uh, it took me by surprise. Alright, let's go back in. Okay. As always, I am very sleep deprived, so this is not the time to be playing this type of game. <laughs> uh, I already 
already forgot how to do this one. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, by the way, you can completely restart from the beginning if you want to, or you can take back one step and then go back. So, I love this feature. This is incredibly handy. Highly recommend using it. I swear I played this game for a good chunk. I just forgot all of these solutions. Oh yeah, another thing. If you press spacebar after pressing this, it'll activate this stuff. Just make sure you click the dude. crazy later on like a trombone of all things so that unlocked the side quest looking for a job So bad. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. There you go. And then when you make it, there's a music stand and all your buddies join in. And I'm gonna do a few of the accordion levels. And I'm gonna do a few of the trombone levels and then you guys will get an idea what the game is like. I don't want to spoil all of the puzzles because they are pretty darn good. For this one, you switch between two states. It's a girl got booty. <laughs>
This one has one more space than the arms. So again, most of the puzzles are straightforward and that you can pretty much work backwards. For example, like if you need to go here, then really you gotta go here, extend your arms and jump over. Can't really think of any other way to get that. Or maybe I'm wrong. Either way. <laughs> there we go. So for you to get it, you have to be on your side here so you can extend your arms and then rotate over and grab it. So you know which orientation and kind of direction that you have to be in for most of the puzzles. That's a good starting place. There are some, like I said, however, where you can't really guess it. Do this. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I am not smart. <laughs> All right. I bet there's like someone yelling at me like, you idiot, you can just do that and then <laughs> you can solve it.
There we go. Music starts to ramp up. Lovely. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, there you go. No, what the? I am a little bit. Actually, I can only do that, right? No, why don't we just finish it? Might as well. We're here. harder than I need to. Facing this way, I guess. I'm doing it right, but I'm like missing an obvious step somewhere. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was it. 
ีห้าThere are two axes that you can turn on. Gets crazy later when you have like sliding boxes and everything. <laughs> Oops. Sees I reset for no reason. That's what I meant to do. So crazy. I'm not gonna lie, the trombone song is pretty darn good. I did this whole thing, uh, it was so hard. I'll do some of these side quests in a bit. My guitar pops in, oh yeah. I wouldn't do this one. So you said, oh, I can. Is that in range? I am too tired for this. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't know why I do this to myself, to be honest, but, uh, it is what it is. This is an easy one, and, um, uh, my brain is fried right now. This ledge is used for something, but I don't know how or why. Oh, wait. Eh, let's just quit for now. I'll show off some of the falling in love, the tunnel of love, the dance moves. Oh, that that's rad. Okay, so you got new mechanics where if you ride this thingy and you get on in a certain direction, then it pushes it. Also, um, whatchamacallit. You can push off of people on it as well, off of it, and then it'll go... See, so it starts deceptively simple, but then it gets so complicated later on. Oh, uh, let me do that again. So, uh, you want to go here. Move forward a little bit. And so then she will stop it. And I just simply get on. Gets so complicated later. There's so many things going on. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. The fact that there's verticality as well, it just... It's so rough. Let's see. Oh, 
Now my brain's dead again. <laughs> How did I beat this so easily last time? Uh... I have to push it this way, but then how do I... Oh... That's right. Up. Let's, uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that could have been made. This one I got stuck on for a long while. Uh, let's see if I remember this. completely forgot that there was a little upper thing here that you can just go Poo, and then that was that easy but I didn't see it so oh there's some slayer down there Let's restart the game. Let's see if that fixes it. I might have to do a hard restart, but... Okay, uh, that was I think the last level. We'll show some of the Shall We Dance ones, which add way different mechanics. I kind of like this one in that it kind of simulates that the fact that they're quote unquote dancing. I thought that was pretty neat. Oh, well, this one I remember having difficulty with, but the solution is, I think, it's supposed to be simple. I messed up already. <laughs> um, hmm. Thank you. 
This one's pretty simple, I just... You have to get it on the X, that wasn't, uh, obvious. Stick the butt out? I don't remember. sake I might just skip this to keep it short but Thank you. 
How did I even get here? Oh yeah, that's right. My goodness, I am so forgetful. It is kind of <laughs> ridiculous. Okay. Solution was staring me straight in the face? Question mark? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's call it there. I'm gonna show off uh, one more thing and then we'll call it there. Is it the daily grind? Yeah, let's not do this one. Uh, there's a really cool one. Oh, recording studio. Okay. Wait, this is not it. show off this one. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. one as well. Yeah, let's just call it there. I am... I am really pooped. I've been... It's, it's almost been a year since I've been covering games. I started in February. Boy, time flies. Anyways, that was Kine, developed and published by Chump Squad. Hopefully I did the game justice. It is pretty challenging, uh, the developer said it would take roughly around 6 hours. Honestly speaking, I think it's gonna take a little bit more than that because I am... I was having a little bit of difficulty with it for some of the levels. Again, I would say maybe like 80% of the levels are pretty straightforward. And then the other 20% can be a little bit challenging. Usually, it's me overthinking it. Again, it's because the final step, the final solution is not obvious to me, so it kind of makes it a little bit more challenging. I appreciate that. I think that's good puzzle design. Um, anyways, yeah, out now on everything, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and the PC, and then it should be coming to Steam on October 19th. Uh, the MSRP should be $19.99, I'm guessing, because it's $19.99 on everything else. 
I'm gonna call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm just gonna end it. As always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And catch you guys next time.